you think your kitchen is safe. But tonight, the vegetables on your cutting board could be quietly destroying your kidneys and you'd never know until it's too late. Imagine discovering that what you thought was healthy might be pushing you closer to dialysis with every bite. So, which vegetables are silently sabotaging your health and which three can actually save you? Stay with me, because what you'll learn in the next few minutes could change every meal you make from now on. You've spent a lifetime trusting that vegetables mean health. But if you're a senior struggling with high creatinine or kidney concerns, that belief might be quietly turning your kitchen into a danger zone. Picture this. Across America, millions of older adults are dicing up vibrant, fresh veggies, believing they're nourishing their bodies, while in reality, some of those innocent-looking ingredients are silently pushing them toward the nightmare of dialysis. What if the vegetables you add to your plate the ones you pick out for their heart health or superfood status are quietly driving your creatinine levels higher with every meal. It sounds unthinkable, even unfair. The very foods marketed to keep you well can overload your body's fragile filtration system, leach calcium from your bones, and, in the worst cases, trigger heart rhythms so erratic they can become life-threatening. The truth is, most people never hear about these hidden risks until it's too late. The critical details which vegetables to embrace and which to avoid just aren't shared enough. Instead, millions wind up facing tough choices, keep living the same way, and risk being tethered to a dialysis machine, or finally learn the secrets to eating smarter. If your creatinine is above 1.2, pay close attention. This video could be your lifeline the difference between protecting your kidney function for years to come or losing your freedom to a machine for hours every week. Today, we're pulling back the curtain. I'm revealing the six most common vegetables that could be sabotaging your health right now, and more importantly, the three kidney cleansing heroes proven to help lower high creatinine, naturally and safely. Stick around to the end, because the number one villain on our list is so common, most of us eat it several times a week without thinking. And the number one hero? It's a simple, everyday spice almost anyone can afford, yet almost no one realizes how powerful it really is. But before we dive in, let me ask you, which vegetable did you trust most for your health before this video? Drop your answer in the comments below. We read and respond to every single one because your story matters here. Let's start with the villains, the vegetables that can turn an ordinary meal into a hidden health hazard for your kidneys. Our countdown begins with two of the most surprising offenders, concentrated tomatoes and asparagus. Number six, concentrated tomatoes. Few foods feel as comforting as a simmering pot of tomato sauce filling your kitchen with rich, nostalgic aromas. But what you don't see is the chemical transformation happening behind the scenes. It isn't the fresh tomato that's the enemy, it's what happens when manufacturers concentrate them into pastes, purees, and sauces. During this process, water evaporates, but all those minerals, including potassium, remain behind, intensely packed in every spoonful. A single cup of commercial pasta sauce can sneak in 900 to 1, 0 milligrams of potassium. For someone with kidney concerns and a daily potassium cap of 2, 0 milligrams, that's nearly half your safety limit gone in a single meal. Suddenly, you're boxed in, forced to tiptoe around every other food for the rest of the day just to avoid a dangerous potassium overload. This is why kidney experts everywhere urge caution. While a few slices of fresh tomato may be safe in moderation, concentrated products like store-bought pasta sauce, ketchup, and tomato paste are a bright red flag. But here's the empowering twist. You don't have to give up flavor. Try making a homemade roasted red bell pepper sauce instead. It delivers that same sweet, robust taste with only a fraction of the potassium. Number five. Asparagus. On the outside, asparagus looks like the very definition of healthy eating. 
Those green spears are praised by chefs and dietitians alike. But look closer, and you'll find a different story. Despite its reputation, just six medium spears contain almost 200 milligrams of potassium number that pushes it right to the edge of the high-risk zone for people with struggling kidneys. For anyone whose kidneys can't properly filter potassium, even small increases can trigger muscle weakness, or worse, life-threatening heart rhythm problems. And if you're also dealing with high uric acid or gout, asparagus packs a moderate punch of purines, which can spark painful flare-ups. So, what's the real rule? Asparagus isn't totally off-limits, but strict portion control is non-negotiable. More than six spears, and you're gambling with your health. Number four, Swiss chard. You've probably seen Swiss chard at the farmer's marca rainbow colored stems, lush green leaves, bursting with superfood promise. But in the world of kidney health, Swiss chard is a double agent, and its beauty hides a double threat. Just half a cup of cooked Swiss chard packs a staggering 483 milligrams of potassium more than twice as much as asparagus, but that's only half the problem. The other danger is oxalatestiny, sharp compounds that can form kidney stones and block your urinary tract. Swiss chard is loaded with them. This dual assault potassium threatening your heart, oxalates, threatening your kidneysis. Why nearly every professional kidney diet puts Swiss chard on the avoid list for patients with high creatinine. The trade-off simply isn't worth it. Instead, go for safer leafy greens like kale or romaine, which offer plenty of nutrition without these risks. Number three, beets. Beets have been marketed as miracle foods for circulation and blood flow, and their deep red color looks inviting on any plate. But for seniors with kidney disease, beets are a nutritional Trojan horse. Half a cup of cooked beets contains 266 milligrams of potassium solidly in the danger zone for compromised kidneys. But there's a second, stealthy threat, oxalates. A single serving delivers 76 milligrams, wiping out almost 80% of your daily oxalate safety limit if you're supposed to be on a low oxalate diet. The result? A perfect storm raising your risk of heart complications and painful kidney stones at the same time. If you want the color and sweetness of beets without the risk, try roasted red bell peppers instead. Number 2. Spinach If you grew up on Popeye, you probably think of spinach as the ultimate health food. But for seniors with kidney disease, spinach can be public enemy number one. Half a cup of cooked spinach doesn't just deliver 420 milligrams of potassium. It's also an absolute oxalate bomb with an unbelievable 755 milligrams per serving. That's up to 15 times more oxalate than the maximum recommended for a single day on a kidney-safe diet. What does that mean? Spinach can flood your system with the building blocks for kidney stones, causing invisible damage you might not notice until it's too late. Even boiling or pairing with calcium isn't enough to make spinach safe for most kidney patients. The only real answer, take spinach off your plate for good. Number 1. Potatoes. And now, we reach the top of the villain list of foods so familiar, so ordinary, that it's probably in your pantry right now. Potatoes. It's not exotic or rare. In fact, potatoes are a staple in most kitchens and comfort food for millions. But for seniors with kidney concerns, their potassium content makes them a hidden minefield. A single medium-sized potato can contain anywhere from 600 to over 900 milligrams of potassium enough to eat up nearly half of your safe daily allowance in just one sitting. Managing kidney health means managing potassium intake, and potatoes make that nearly impossible if you're not careful. This is why many kidney dietitians insist on a special safety ritual, double boiling. You peel, slice, soak, and boil potatoes then drain, and boil them again. This can cut the potassium by half or more, but it turns a simple potato into a complicated project, hardly the convenience food most of us crave. For day-to-day -day eating, 
the best advice is to choose safer starches, like white rice or pasta. The humble potato is the ultimate reminder that the biggest risks sometimes come from the foods we take for granted. So, take a breath. I know this list may feel overwhelming or even a little frightening. Suddenly, your dinner plate looks suspicious, and every comfort food feels like a gamble. But remember, the goal isn't fear, it's knowledge. By unmasking these six hidden villains, you're already one step ahead of the risk. You're giving yourself the power to make choices that truly protect your health and independence. Now, it's time for hope. Let's flip the script. What if there were vegetables that don't just avoid danger, but actually help your kidneys heal? Next, I'll reveal three kidney cleansing heroes, safe, delicious, and scientifically proven to help lower high creatinine levels. Let's shift from fear to power. After exposing the hidden dangers, you deserve to know about the vegetables that can actually help protect your kidney sand, even lower high creatinine levels, naturally and safely. Here are the three unsung heroes every senior with kidney concerns should keep in their kitchen. Hero 3. Cauliflower. Once dismissed as bland and boring, cauliflower is now a true superstar for kidney health. Its secret? Cauliflower is incredibly low in both potassium and phosphorus. You just 88 milligrams of potassium and 20 milligrams of phosphorus per half cup. That means it's not only safe, it's almost risk-free, letting you enjoy generous portions without worry. But cauliflower doesn't just play defense. It's also packed with sulforaphane, a compound that kicks your body's own anti-inflammatory and detox systems into gear, protecting kidney cells from further harm. Even better, it's a game changer for cravings. Steamed and mashed cauliflower can replace high potassium mashed potatoes, delivering comfort food without the danger. Don't settle for the old, overcooked version tree roasting for a deep, nutty flavor or steam gently for a delicate texture. Hero 2. Onions You might not think much of the humble onion, but it's one of the quietest protectors in your pantry. Onions are low in potassium, phosphorus, and sodium, making them the perfect base for kidney-friendly meals. But their real power comes from a potent flavonoid called quercetina natural antioxidant and anti-inflammatory that acts like a shield for your kidneys, fighting damage, and calming harmful inflammation. Here's a pro tip. Slowly sautéing onions in a little olive or avocado oil creates a deep, sweet foundation for your dishes and lets you use less salt without sacrificing flavor. Every time you cook with onions, you're giving your kidneys a little extra defense. Hero 1. Garlic And finally, the ultimate kidney hero, garlic. Celebrated for centuries as both food and medicine, garlic is almost completely free of potassium and phosphorus, making it a safe choice for anyone with high creatinine. But its real superpower is a compound called allicin, formed only when garlic is crushed and left to rest for 10 minutes before cooking. Allicin fights inflammation, reduces oxidative stress, and can even help lower blood pressure and cholesterol all, of which lighten the load on your kidneys. Modern studies confirm that garlic supplementation can improve key kidney function markers, including BUN and creatinine levels. If you're worried about the strong smell, remember, that's the scent of healing in action. So, crush your garlic, let it rest, and let its natural medicine work for you. Now that you know the villains and the heroes, let's bring it all together into a set of simple, practical rules your own kitchen handbook for lower creatinine and stronger kidneys. Facing the villains. Potatoes. Always use the double boiling technique peel, slice, soak, and boil them twice to slash the potassium content. But even then, treat potatoes as an occasional treat, not a daily staple. Concentrated tomato products. Ditch the store-bought sauces and purees. Swap them for homemade roasted red bell pepper sauce to keep potassium levels in check without sacrificing taste. High oxalate greens, spinach, Swiss chard, beets. Spinach should be off your plate entirely, 
oxalate load is simply too high for kidney safety. If you do indulge in beets or Swiss chard, always boil them first to lower the soluble oxalates and pair them with calcium-rich foods, like a sprinkle of cheese or a dollop of yogurt, to block oxalate absorption. Asparagus. Enjoy, but strictly limit yourself to no more than six medium spears per serving. Maximizing the heroes. Garlic. Remember the 10-minute rule crush or chop, then let it rest before cooking to unlock its powerful allicin. Onions. Saute them low and slow with a healthy oil for a naturally sweet, savory base that helps you cut back on salt. Cauliflower. Use it as a stand-in for potatoes and get creative a roast, mash, or steam for a satisfying, kidney-friendly comfort food. A new way of seeing food. This journey isn't just about memorizing a list. It's about changing the way you look at your kitchen and your health. You don't have to let fear run your life, but you do need to make informed, confident choices. Every meal is a new chance to either move closer to health or take a risk you don't need. Let's build this community. Which of the six villain vegetables surprised you most? Was it the potato or perhaps spinach? Share your thoughts in the comments below. We read every single one because your journey helps others too. The question isn't just what to eat, but who to trust the flashy labels or the real science behind your food. Thank you for staying with us. Hit the bell icon so you never miss a life-saving video. The earlier you spot kidney risks, the more you can do to protect yourself. If you're worried about your health or haven't felt your best, check out the next video on symptoms of kidney trouble. Stay informed, stay empowered, and stay healthy.